Ultrasound enables direct visualization of the relevant bony anatomy, identification of the subacromial bursa, and determination of the appropriate depth of needle insertion. A high-frequency linear transducer is optimal for this application due to its high resolution and short focal length. The patient should be seated in an upright position with the ipsilateral arm positioned behind the back with the elbow bent. Place the transducer in a longitudinal position along the superior lateral aspect of the affected shoulder with the directional indicator pointing towards the patient's head. The cortex of the humeral head can be seen in the far field as a bright echogenic line. Superior to that, on the left side of the ultrasound screen, the cortex of the acromion can be identified. Superficial to the humeral head lies the supraspinatus tendon, and more superficially, the deltoid muscle. Next, turn to a transverse orientation with the directional indicator facing the patient's back. In this orientation, the cortex of the humeral head, the supraspinatus tendon, and the overlying deltoid muscle can be visualized. Subacromial bursitis can be identified as a hypoechoic fluid collection between the supraspinatus tendon and deltoid muscle. Using the depth markers on the right of the ultrasound screen, the skin to subacromial bursa distance can be measured and used to determine the necessary depth of needle insertion. The needle is inserted along the edge of the ultrasound transducer and directed in a plane parallel to the long axis of the transducer. The needle will be visualized as a hyperechoic line as it advances in plane with the ultrasound beam. Diffusion of a steroid suspension can be visualized and will appear anechoic with hyperechoic foci due to its crystalline structure. Injection of the glenohumeral joint may be preferred in cases of osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, or adhesive capsulitis. In the posterior approach, the patient should be seated with the ipsilateral hand resting on the opposite shoulder. The high-frequency probe is placed just below the acromion and roughly parallel to the spine of the scapula. If the directional indicator is to the patient's left, the curved cortex of the humeral head will be seen on the right side of the ultrasound screen and the flat cortex of the glenoid on the left. Movement of the humeral head may help confirm the anatomy. The hypoechoic space between the glenoid and the humeral head represents the joint space and is the target for injection. You perform an ultrasound-guided injection of corticosteroids into your patient's subacromial bursa. You're able to identify the bursa on the ultrasound screen and to determine the optimal depth of needle insertion for the procedure. The injection is successful on the first attempt. Be sure that your patient remains still after you have marked an insertion point. Keep in mind that while diffusion of local anesthetics appears black on the ultrasound screen, steroid suspensions will often contain hyperechoic foci or lines.